Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another tutorial video and what I'm going to be covering in this video guys is how you can use Mod Organizer 2 for Fallout 4. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I am currently in Mod Organizer. However, when you first open it, uh, what you're going to want what you're going to see is probably this sort of screen where you need to either create or choose an instance. Instances should be automatically created for games that you already have uh, installed and they should be detected uh, by themselves if they don't you can just create a new instance and create a global instance portables are used for another thing however uh, global instances are what you're going to want to use uh, and just go into them and uh, uh, choose the game that you want it should find the files by itself however if it doesn't uh, just find them manually and you should be good just choose the game file of the game of your choice in this case fallout 4 as you can see here is the direction or the game location that I chose for Fallout 4 and then just switch to that instance and you'll be taken to this make sure you are logged into Nexus here through Nexus connect your uh, account through your login credentials and make sure to associate manager links with it download whichever mods you want and they will be here in the downloads tab make sure you have a uh, follow for script extender uh, or any script extender for any Bethesda game and once you download the mods double click them and uh, install them then click on the ticks to actually activate them however make sure they are in the collect load order you can use loot to optimize your load order so that you don't have to do it manually I like to do it both manually and through loot and that is pretty much it once you install them and uh, click them, uh, tick them off, they will be activated and you will be able to use that mod in your game. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I will see you guys in another video.